work is good but rest is you know equally good i know you want to put in all of the work but also find time to rest so after going into the weekend just take some time out you know to, to just relax and get away from all the work and just rest welcome to the conversation on tos television network your digital first one african news network coming to you from abuja nigeria's capital city and of course my name is ade soa i'll see you today on the show we're going to be talking about something that's uh quite controversial yes has been raising dust across social media platforms and i thought we need to talk about it today i have a, you know an expert a very resource person that will help me you know just analyze and break all of that down for me but before then i'll bring you covid 19 updates from across africa and after that it's straight into the big story <laughs> You're still here in the conversation on TOS TV network. And as I always tell you, you have to join the conversation across our social media platforms. So follow TOS TV network across all social media. It's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's TOS TV network on those platforms. Subscribe to uh, TOS TV network on, on YouTube as well. And of course, you can stream our website for news stories from across the world. It's www.tostvnetwork.com. Now let us move you know, into the crux of the conversation, the meat of the matter today. So something quite interesting happened um, in, in a correctional, that's a curriculum correctional facility in Lagos State on International Women's Day, that's um, on the 8th of March. So Chidi Maljuku, the alleged killer of Super TV CEO, uh, Michael Sifo Taga, was crowned Miss Cell 2022 after winning a beauty pageant, you know, that was organized um, in the facility. And, you know, photos from the occasion have, caught, have stirred quite a controversy across social media. You, you know, everybody's talking about it. And a lot of Nigerians expressed surprise that you know, she was allowed to do that. Many people calling her a celebrated killer. And that's what we're going to be looking at on the conversation today. Crime, culture and society. A left killer wins Miss Cell 2022. And to join me in having that conversation is Ikiemoyi B. Ozoizi, a managing partner at May Gallington Law Firm. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning, Odeswa. Thanks for having me. All right, it's good to have you. Uh, so let's just move straight into it. A lot of Nigerians, or across the world basically, prison is seen as a place of, you know, punishment and then at some point rehabilitation, right? That's what a lot of persons see prison as. But if, if that turns, or when that turns into a place where, you know, people can just have fun sometimes, does that not defeat the purpose? Why? Or, or maybe we should just start with the place of correctional facilities, you know, in the first place and then just pick it up from there. Okay. So... Correctional facilities in Nigeria are generally um, governed by the Nigerian Correctional Service Act of mm. 2019. And essentially, the purpose of that act is, is fourfold, but I'll, I'll focus on two. Mm. Firstly, is to ensure that there's compliance with international human rights standards mm -hmm. and good correctional practices mm. within the facilities. And then secondly, it is to enhance a focus on correction mm. as well as promotion of... Um, reform, um, reformation, mm -hmm. rehabilitation, and essentially reintegration back into the society. Okay. So um, correctional facilities, what's most interesting about them is that a lot of people are not aware that a lot of things happen within those walls. Lots of people get degrees, lots, mm -hmm. lots of people get um, vocational skills and so on, including fun activities. Mm. I mean, if the idea is for correction, the spirit behind the act is to ensure that um, the inmates, whether convicted or awaiting trial, mm. are um, mentally able to assimilate the uh, correction, mm. assimilate the rehabilitation, and you know they can be better people when they're back into the society so yeah that's essentially what it is okay because i was going to ask you mm -hmm. you know as a legal practitioner if she's legally allowed to participate in that because i know she hasn't been convicted yet yes. and she's the waiting trial she has a case in court mm -hmm. and then you know a sensitive matter mm -hmm. for that you know and then she she had to go on and participate in that competition that I thought, you know, like most Nigerians should be meant for convicted, 
you know, inmates. So you, you're saying that she's legally allowed to participate? Definitely. Um, generally, in a correctional facility, inmates are inmates. They'll be treated equally. Mm. There's no preferences as mm -hmm. it relates to managing the inmates, mm. right? Um, whether you've been convicted or otherwise, you're still um, available, you're, rather, you're still open to um, those natural basic human rights mm. that accrue to you just for the fact that you're a human being. Mm. And those rights are protected by the Nigerian constitution as mm. amended. Uh, so Chidima participating in that um, uh, event, yeah. um, in addition to other inmates, is fine. Mm. It's fine. It's within the penal guidelines, mm. um, within the structure of the correctional facility. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Whether she's awaiting trial or not, it's fine. Okay, so so you don't you you don't think I'm I'm moving away from Chidima now, oh. and, and, and I'm just I'm going to focus on the, you know the correctional facilities. Yeah. So you don't think that, or it is not a case of insensitivity to the family of the the victim that you know um, that's involved in the crime, the Usifa Tagere that, that was murdered. It's probably just a case of a, a functional institution exactly. doing its job. Exactly, exactly. You know, as it relates to the Usifa family. Mm. Um, the general public would um, offer, say, sympathy, you know, as families to the victims. But generally, what the Nigerian legal system owes that family is that justice is done mm. and that it's seen to be done. Mm. And one of the processes is to ensure that each institution does what it's, uh, what it's meant to do. Mm. At the moment, she's being held by court order in prison, even though, you know, the trial is still on. Mm. So while she's in that facility, she should enjoy <laughs> enjoy everything, everything yes happens, within that yeah. she's still a human being uh -huh. don't forget she's still innocent mm -hmm. until and proven guilty. guilty so yeah these are these these are the main issues mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's quite interesting because i know like the conversation on social media uh -huh. has been that the family on of the victim should sue the correctional facility why would they allow her to do that that's very <laughs> insensitive but can they sue if they want to uh no they can't. No, they, I mean, they can try, but it's very clear on, on the uh, on the face of the act. Ah. Um, they are allowed to do what they did. Mm. Inmates are allowed to enjoy activities within the penal guidelines oh. of the correctional facility. Okay. And well, from what has been shared, nothing has been out of place. Mm. And um, if there was a situation of say there was discrimination mm. on um, who's to participate. That's a different conversation, but from my understanding of what's been released, it's been all in like an intercell uh, yeah, activity. So all in, it wasn't just a beauty pageant, mm -hmm. if, my, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah. It included other things, singing, plays, and it, she just happened to be the one who won the beauty pageant. It could have been, there were other winners mm -hmm. in other categories, mm -hmm. but the only reason we are hearing about her is because of how high profile her alleged crime yeah. Um, is okay. yes. It, let's focus on that. That last mm -hmm. one. Her crime or her alleged, alleged. crime is is a, is high profile, some sort of somewhat national interest at this point. And then you did say she's allowed to contest, and it, so she's she they within the confines of the law to actually you know contest mm -hmm. and go on and win. Mm -hmm. But should the footage have been released, N knowing the sensitivity? of her case and then that she is still in court and knowing that it might spark conversation and rile people up, should the facility have actually released the footage to the public? Well, we don't know if it's the facility that released the, fo the footage. Mm -hmm. It could have been anyone. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, I read in the newspaper, um, the spokesperson of the prison said he didn't even know who the person was, mm -hmm. right? Um, well, we know the footage has been out. Yeah. Um, the question as to who released it is a different conversation, yeah. but, um, I'd, I'd like to make a distinction here between uh, sensitivity to emotion yeah. and then um, the law. There's a big difference. Mm. Um, unfortunately, yes, I do understand it may not be easy to see somebody who is suspected mm. of, of um you know, of a crime, you know, right in your face all the time, especially as the family. Mm. But then again, that is totally different mm. from the uh, hand of the law being mm. carried out. Mm. You, you know, I, I mentioned the fundamental human rights. Yeah. She's, she's having her time because Section 33 allows for that fair hearing process. Sorry, 36, Section mm. 36 of the Constitution allows for that fair hearing process to, 
you know, to take on, to carry on. And, you know, everyone would just have to be patient for that process to carry on. Mm -hmm. But while she's in prison, um, Section 34 of the Constitution, uh, which is the right to, uh, right to dignity mm -hmm. of human persons, mm -hmm. she's allowed to carry on those activities, any activities within the conference, as long as she's not tortured, mm. um, it allows to ensure that she's not treated inhumanely, mm. and you know, there's generally decent living in there. Okay. That's, that's fine. All right, thank you so much for joining me on the conversation. You're it's welcome, been unfortunate Adessa. enough the time that we have, but thank oh, you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for staying with me up until this time you heard it. She's allowed to contest and she's allowed to do all of that. It's just a functional institution doing its job as a correctional facility. Thank you again. As I did tell you earlier, please have a restful weekend. But before then, follow TOS TV Network across all social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, the channel to subscribe to on YouTube is TOS TV Network. And of course, stream our website www.tostvnetwork.com for news, stories and happenings from across the world. My name is Ade Soelsoye. Thank you and I'll see you on Monday.